guys it is miss may here one fab teacher welcome back to my channel i am so glad so excited that you are here with me today um i have received well first of all i just want to say i hope all is well with all of you if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for sticking with me and if you are not a subscriber i don't know what you're waiting for but go ahead and click that subscribe button and go ahead and join the family with us but today I want to talk to you guys um, I've had a lot of people ask me Miss May how do you handle difficult parents now I can say that every teacher has probably dealt with a difficult parent sometime throughout their career and if they haven't I'm pretty sure that it will probably happen now I will say I'm very fortunate I feel like I'm very blessed because I can count on one hand and have some fingers left when I think about difficult parents that I have had in my 14 year career this far I think you can avoid difficult parents by building those really good positive relationships with your students and with your parents. However, there are going to be times where I don't care how kind you are, how good you are with communication with parents. Some just want, you'll just have once in a blue moon that one who just, it's never good. It's never good enough. It's never enough. It's, you're not doing enough. And that's just the reality of it. And that's just how it is. And like some, a lot of times you can't fix that. Some people just, some parents are just gonna be difficult. I can say that my first year of teaching, I had a very good first year experience, but I did have to deal with one difficult parent. And this difficult parent was just, uh, it was like she was just finding any and every little thing to nag at me and nitpick at me about. She had a problem that I was a first year teacher and her child was in my class. And to me, there's a first year teacher, there's a first year doctor, there's a first year lawyer, there's a first year principal, there's a first year custodian, there's a first year a trash man there's a first year mailman I mean the list goes on right but she had an issue with me being a first year brand new teacher and so she just picked at me all year long and she's the one that still sticks in my mind when I think about difficult and then I had one um, maybe I think it was like my eighth year of teaching I can't remember that was very difficult too and just not very kind and I just I'm like what what is it what is it about me however I have to say friends like everybody isn't going to like you and that's just reality and that's life and I've become very comfortable with myself that if someone doesn't like me I don't care I'm not here to please people I'm really not. I'm here to do my job that I feel like God has given me, and that's to be a teacher, and I'm here to please God. So if somebody doesn't like me, oh, oh well, it is what it is, because frankly, I don't like everybody either, and that's just life, and it's, it's good. But anyway, so I've had my share of difficult parents, but how I dealt with those difficult parents um, in that pastime is, first of all, I truly believe in building those positive relationships out the gate from meet the teacher night on building those relationships and things that you can do is just constant communication with them through remind text through email through phone calls um, building those relationships with their children because at the end of the day y'all most parents just want someone that cares about their child just as much as they do now granted you do have parents who feel like their child is the only child in the classroom and they don't realize that you're human and that you have a family and that you have a life and that you have 20 plus something other children in your classroom or just in general other kids in your classroom and sometimes they forget that i feel but the way i de have dealt with difficult parents in the past is i one you need to have confidence you definitely have to have confidence because I don't care who it is. When somebody can sense that you're not confident with what you do, people will walk all over on that and they will do their best to try to um, bring you down even more if you're not confident. So you have to be confident. Like I feel like in my classroom, parents understand and know how I run my classroom. This is what it is. This is how we do it. This is what I'm expecting of your child. And I feel like you get a sense of respect that way so definitely show confidence even if you're not fake it till you make it you know um 
you know, ask God to give you that confidence, you know, throughout the day, but definitely show confidence. Fake it till you make it. Confidence is key because if they can sense that you're not confident, oh, get ready, baby. They're going to rock your world. That's for sure. So show confidence. Be confident in who you are. I don't care if you're a first year teacher or a 20 year veteran teacher. Show the confidence. Those that know me know that I'm a very cheerful, happy go lucky person it's just in my dna and so i'm always cheerful happy kind to my parents and in the past when i have sensed like that first year and that eighth year wherever um when i sensed that i was still kind but i was they weren't getting that bubbly happy go lucky miss may they were just getting that happy miss may you know i was still kind but i wasn't um my normal happy-go-lucky self because I'm not gonna let somebody rock walk all over me either um, so have confidence be kind build those relationships with those parents um, as much as you can and then I would stay calm because sometimes you'll get an email or you'll get a voicemail from a parent or even a remind text if you use remind that isn't very um kind and sometimes text messages and emails and all that can be um, misunderstood the tone and so what i suggest is just maybe taking a day before you reply to that parent just to get yourself calmed down so that you can respond in a more um, appropriate manner because you do not want to get this email or voicemail and then just attack right away while you're upset because sometimes the tones can be a little bit rude and disrespectful and you do not want them to take you out of your character so i would definitely stay calm and just you know read the email a couple of times sleep on it and then wake up as with a new day and approach it when you're more calm and more relaxed that that is a big tip because you do not want to get into an email battle with a parent or a text messaging battle through remind you just don't want to get yourself caught at that i would immediately i would call i wouldn't reply to an uh, a difficult parent through email i would definitely call on the phone and just kind of get that tone and then also too you know like you can sense when someone in, somebody kind of has a tone to them and i'm still you know in the past because like like i said this this i've had difficult parents in the past in my very beginning years but um just when you're talking to them on the phone, they kind of need to hear your tone too of that confidence. Like, look, this is what happened. This is the situation. This is what it is. And then, you know, I always ask, well, how can we make this better? What are some suggestions? Ask them for their suggestions on, you know, what they feel. And then go from there. Try to meet on a common ground. But I really believe that to have a very successful career without dealing with very many um, difficult parents, it's just build that relationship right out the gate. Now, like I said, you can't get every, you may not get every single parent. Some just want to be difficult just to be difficult. And that's just people in life in general. But just do the best that you can. My number one goal would be, my number one tip would be, I would say, is definitely have that confidence. Be confident in who you are as a teacher. I felt like out the gate, I felt like I was a somewhat confident teacher. And so when I dealt with that difficult parent, I just killed him with kindness and just, I didn't go above and beyond like I did with, you know, my other parents because I felt like I wasn't being respected. And so I feel like, you know, parents should respect you and you should respect them, you know, because at the end of the day, all they want is to know that you love their child and that you care about their child. And when a child is going home talking about you as a teacher and saying nothing but great things, nine times out of ten that parent's not gonna bother you they're happy with you so that's how i deal with difficult parents and like i said i my i can like it was really two i had two i've dealt with two very difficult parents i made it through i dealt with it but i really truly believe that the reason why i don't have those issues um <laughs> lord i don't want any is because I just build those relationships. Like I communicate with parents. I tell them the good, I tell them the not so good, and sometimes I have to tell them the ugly. And you know, in order to do that, you have to be confident. You can't sugarcoat things because I wouldn't want my niece and nephew's teachers to sugarcoat anything to my brother. 
and you know what's going on with them like you don't want to be a sugar coat type of teacher just be real be honest you know be respectful you know be caring and you know just my biggest thing is just confidence just have that confidence and then of course build those relationships and then truly truly stay calm stay calm you know don't reply to that irritating parent until later give it a day okay so i hope this helps you guys just a little bit i hope all is well with you guys my goal i have come to the conclusion you guys that my goal is to have a video out every thursday for you guys so every thursday be on the lookout for a video from miss may one fab teacher again if you are not subscribed to the channel please subscribe because honestly you guys help me to help other people out there. When you subscribe to me, you watch my videos, you share it to the world. Share, 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 subscribe, tell everybody about it. I've made up my mind, Thursdays will be my upload day. So see a video from Miss May every Thursday. That is going to be my upload day. So until next Thursday, loves, I hope you stay prayerful and thankful. And don't forget to always pray because God will truly always make a way. I promise you he will. I love you so much. Hugs and blessings. Bye.